Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Poison and ooh, do I have some spicy POW world news for you today. Specifically regarding the cap traits as well as the lift monk effigies in the game, which you should hold off on using until you finish this video. Now, some of you may have noticed that as you progress in POW world, the capture rates seem to decrease more and more over time regardless of which pal spear you're using. Now to combat this, the game has lift monk effigies, which you run around and collect and then bring back to your statue of power. And this will actually increase your capture rate level from the statue of power. Now this is supposed to increase the player's capture rate. However, there's been some pretty compelling evidence that the lift monk effigies are actually bugged right now and instead decrease your capture rate making the pals much harder for you to capture. Now, the first piece of evidence testing this theory and kind of proving some evidence towards it is a YouTube video test by Challoner, which was updated, uploaded a couple days ago. And I'll let that play here for you guys in a sec. Hey guys, this video is looking at pal world capture rates with effigies versus without effigies. Because I found something quite surprising when I decided to do a test. You see, as I'm playing the game, I'm realizing that my experience isn't lining up with what we're being told. The effigies that we collect are supposed to be increasing our capture rate. However, after consistently being burned by supposed bad RNG, such as having to use 15 spheres on an alleged 50% capture chance, I decided to do some testing. My results surprised even me. You are, right now, looking at gameplay with maxed out level 10 capture power from the effigies on the left hand side, and on the right hand side is without any effigies turned into capture power whatsoever. Zero effigies. Yet, it seems to be the case that the gameplay with the effigies is doing noticeably worse than the gameplay without them. So what Challenger decided to do in his YouTube video was that he took a backup of his save file and he conducted two different tests, each with a sample size of 100 PAL spheres. The gameplay you see on the left hand side right now is his first save file with FUGs fully used, maxing his capture rate. And then the gameplay you see on the right hand side is where he has used no FUGs and has the default capture rate. So essentially nothing else has changed between the two tests other than the capture rate being increased by the FUGs. But that's not the only thing he tried. The next thing you might notice is that I'm selectively targeting pals with a back bonus of 61 to 85 percent on the left and 33 to 48 percent on the right. This is to keep a relatively low window of margin on the recorded rates. So we're expecting that on the left, I should end up with a capture rate of between 61 and 85 percent. And we're expecting that on the right, I end up with somewhere between 33 and 48 hmm. percent. However, as you'll be seeing, these rates are not being reflected in practice. In actuality, my capture rate on the left ends up far lower than expected, and my capture rate on the right is just somewhat higher than expected. But what's really standing out here is that the gameplay without the effigies is so much better than what's happening with the effigies on generally the same pals and levels. Now, at the end of the video, Chandler displays all the stats for you to see, and the results are actually pretty shocking. So for the FUG side, there was an expected capture rate of 61 to 85%. However, out of his 100 PAL balls, he only managed to capture 37 for a capture rate of 37%. And now going to the no FUG side, he captured 53 and only 47 escaped, meaning that the capture rate for the test was 53%, while the expected rate was 33 to 48. So actually a bit higher than the expected rate. Kind of interesting there. Now, after watching Chandler's video, you might be saying, well, Poison, he only conducted two tests with a sample size of 100 PAL spheres each. That's not very good empirical evidence to support the claim. And to be honest, you'd be correct. However, this is where the second piece of evidence comes into play. So going over to Reddit, there was a user named Status Rhubarb 6465 and yeah, he essentially did a statistical analysis on the lift monk effigies using the data from Chandler's YouTube video. Now, what he did at first was he went through Chandler's video and he added up all the capture rates that were displayed on screen from the capture ball itself. And after averaging all those numbers, he found out that there should have been an average expected catch rate of 70.8%, but he realistically only caught 37 pals in total. Now, judging by this, it seems that there's a 
bit of an odd comparison there. So what he did was he ran his own test a thousand times. And after a thousand times, he essentially got the lowest number of 57 catches, which means that there's still a huge difference from what should have happened as expected by the catch rates on screen versus what actually happened in Chandler's video. So he then did another 9,000 tests, totaling 10,000 tests in total, but the lowest catch rate that he got was 52. Further crunching the numbers, <clears throat> it turns out that to actually get a catch rate of 37 pals or, or to catch 37 pals with the expected catch rate of 70.8%, it would be a 7.91 times 10 to the negative 15th exponent or approximately one in a hundred trillion that this would actually happen. So the chances of him just getting really unlucky in that video is pretty unrealistic here. And it's good evidence that the capture rates that are shown on screen in the video game actually aren't accurate as to what is actually occurring. And keep in mind, so far there has been no official statement from Pocket Pair about this being a bug or if they even know of this uh, existing. But judging by the evidence of other users on Reddit and all this kind of number crunching done by Strawberry Status Rhubarb here, as well as the video from Channeler down here, it seems like there's actually a, a problem here and the LiftMonk FEGs are bugged. Now you may be kind of puckering your bosom being like, well, well, well shit, boys, and what happens if I already use my LiftMonk FEGs? Like, am, am I just screwed? Like, like, do I have to do a little song and dance prayer to God every time I want to catch an end game like Legendary Pal? Well, my little munchkin, do I have some good news for you? On the Power World subreddit, user Surfrost has created a step-by-step -step process for resetting your FUG level so that you and any other people that you play with can reset your game back to its previous state and restore your capture rate to its former glory. Um, essentially, you just have to go through this, install a couple things, convert your save file to a JSON, edit some variables there. But yeah, I'll leave a link to this in the description of the video for any of you that want to go check that out, as well as any of the other stuff that we talked about in the video. But yeah, that's pretty much it for me in this one. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this in the future. Peace.